Hi friends, today we are here at Disneyland Park ready for our third and final day. Oh, it's so sad. Um, we did get in quite late last night, so we were very tired this morning. So we have had a slight lie in and we are here a little bit later than what one we originally planned and two what we'd normally do. But that's fine because we needed the we needed the sleep, we needed the extra extra sleep as we're having a full day today. We're here all the way up until um, fireworks and the castle show tonight. So yeah, really looking forward to today. We've got loads planned, loads to get in. We want to try and get some more meet and greets in today, get some more rides in, and then obviously we want to see the parade and uh, dream and shine brighter as well, because it might actually be the last time we see it. So hopefully they won't drop it down to the adapted show, but they may do. But I'm hoping they don't. But we'll see how it goes. Um, so yeah, so what an amazing entrance. Susan got here today, the first Dream and Shine Brighter parade was on. Um, but it was just the parade version, it was adapted. So it was nice to see it, nice to hear it, but we didn't get the full show. So uh, yeah, so I think we're going to start off some breakfast. So we're going to go and grab some beignets and have a really awesome Disneyland Park morning. Let's go. We just grabbed ourselves some breakfast and coffees. We've got uh, the classic Mickey beignet. And then three coffees from the bakery on Main Street. It's like our classic Disneyland Park breakfast currently. I don't know what we're going to end up eating when uh, the 30th ends and they don't do the beignets anymore, but I'm sure we'll find out in a couple of months. the Emporium and grab myself some new ears. Absolutely love these ears, they are awesome. And I could not pass these up, because once the 30th is over, they'll be gone. Um, I do like the little top hat, I think it's so cute. So uh, yeah, had to grab these ears. Gonna get a few photos in them today, I think, because again, next time I come, the 30th will be over, more than likely, so um, that's a bit gutting. But um, yeah, they're nice having the collection anyway, so I, ha I just had to get them, I had to. I had to. Two. Had to get them. <laughs> 
So I've got my new ears on. I brought some ears with me as well. So I've got some hanging off my bag. And now I've gone and grabbed some more. What can I say? When I see a cute pair of ears, I can't, I can't not. Hello sir, how are you? You say hello to all my friends, all my friends live in here. <laughs> oh, you look fabulous, look at you. All the mining. You've been mining. Not him. Oh. Yeah, he's making money. He's making money from the mine. Making money mining. <laughs> <laughs> Lots you've got of money. People that do that for you, right? Yeah. Mickey Mouse, Mickey Mouse does it for you. you. Oh, Donald. Donald does oh, it for Donald's you. Are the boys down there too? Do we do it, Louie? All yeah. down there? Keeping them out of trouble? Yeah. Get them to work. <laughs> 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 Crack that whip. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, I can have a hug as well. Thank you very much. Lovely to meet you. We've all got hats like yours. Yeah, just like you. Hi Piglet, how are you? Are you okay? Are you scared? No. <laughs> it's hard to be brave when you're such a small animal, right? <laughs> are you being brave? Oh, good. So yeah, we've just been down in Fantasyland, had a quick look at the secret meet that's right around the corner, back where Casey Jones is, and that Piglet was there. Casey we... Jones? Casey Junior. Casey Junior. Casey Jones, the guy from the Turtles. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know where that came from. Casey Jones. Casey Junior. Um, and... Yeah, it's a little secret meet around there that they often have characters at, but we don't, I don't think a lot of people know it's there. It's not on the app. It's not on the app, it's proper secret. Um, but yeah, so we went round and we literally just got there before they closed the line. The cast member just let us join, so we got we just about got in it. Yeah. If we'd have been any more seconds later, I think we'd have missed it. Thank you to that cast member. Thank you very much to that cast member. We didn't get the name, so uh, apologies. Thomas. I think so. So if it is Thomas and you see this, thank you so, so much. We did say thank you in person as well, but we always like to shout out on the vlogs when we find a really, really good cast member and we like to drop their name in as well. Um, so yeah, so thank you very much Thomas for that, letting us in that queue right at the last second. Um, yeah, loved it, really good. Piglet's a good meet, Piglet's a really good meet. So if you, if you are a Winnie the Pooh fan, Piglet is it, Piglet's worth waiting for. Piglet's a good one. Really good one. Yeah. Um, and then before that, Scrooge McDuck. So basically, we didn't talk about Scrooge McDuck because we were running to get the new Mini and Clarabelle meet, which is in Videopolis. And we got there and they've shut the queue early. Two so, hours early. Two hours early. So we were never gonna get it. Um, but it's, it's, a very, um, it's a very new meet and greet and it's a very popular one. So it's actually really difficult. So the queue is actually, she's on until four and the queue is actually two hours long at the moment. So they've closed it early. They've just shut it because it's just too long. The cast member told us to come back at 1.30. Yeah. And if we had gone back at 1.30, he still would have turned us away. Yeah. So yeah, so then we did Scrooge McDuck, which again, uh, I feel like he's become a really rare character here. Yeah. And you I'd don't see so. him. You used to see him at Christmas time because obviously Scrooge McDuck, you know, uh, Scrooge from the um, Mickey's Christmas Carol, all that kind of thing. So yeah, so um, you used to see him every Christmas with, a, with, his, with his winter and Christmas clothes on. And um, from the film and everything. Yeah, and, um, he, he's become really, really rare now. 
So when I saw him stood outside Big Thunder Mountain, I was like, what an amazing place for Scrooge McDuck. I absolutely love that. And he was really playing his character. Yeah, he was. He was brilliant. We were there for like five minutes. We were there a little bit long, really. But he just kept going. He just kept like making conversation with us. He just kept saying things. Yeah. We were like, yeah, go, go. go. Us over to show us this and that. Yeah. It was really good. Yeah, it was really good. I really liked as well how he like referenced Donald and Huey, Dewey and Louie that like they're all working for him, making him his money. I thought that was really good. And he's just, he's just, his conversation was just like really strong. It was on point, and, weren't it? Yeah. On point. And it was like, not that we were trying to cut him off from his conversation because we didn't want to take too much time, but even though like we was like going, oh, let's do our photos now. And he was continuing the conversation. So it, the interaction was really, really good. And I was really happy that we managed to get that. Um, with him being such a rare character and every time that we've come we've always said oh I really want to see Scrooge McDonald, let's take these out and he never has been so as soon as we saw him it was like that is a must Hi Minnie. Hi Minnie! Oh look, you look fabulous! Oh, give us a twirl! Ooh, beautiful! How's that not an option for Minnie? She likes boys. You're waiting for Mickey to put a ring on it, huh? Yeah, what's he playing at? It's been 94 years she is waiting. Wow. 94 years. That was a long time to wait. It's a long time. Can I put something? One second, that's how we can take some more friends. Pleasure. Have a nice day, enjoy the park. Bye. And it's going to be this. Thanks. That was really cool and really unexpected. So we got a mini meet there in Frontierland, but she was dressed in her classic stuff, which is odd because I'm pretty sure in Frontierland, mini is usually cowgirl mini. Yeah. Can I say that? Is that politically correct? Do I say cowboy mini? Cowboy. Do I say cow, 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 you, say, cow you say cowboy person? You say cow person? Cowboy goofy, don't you? Yeah. Yeah, Cowgirl Mini is usually down there, as from what I believe. But yeah, she was in the classics today, so that was quite nice. Bit unexpected, a little bit... Yeah, a bit unexpected. Um, but I've, I've, I've never met Mini in her classics before, no, so... I haven't either. So it was actually quite nice to, to meet her in a classic, so yeah. Love that. And she was a really good meet as well, and the cast member that was there, another shout out to... Uh, Evan. 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 We, th we think his name is Evan. We're not so, doing very well with remembering their names this time, are we? <laughs> because I'm panicking, I'm panicking and forgetting to look at their names. E V I N. I, think it was I always look, I always look at the names, I go, like, okay, that's their name. And then by the time that we've walked away from the meet, because I've got so into the meet and I'm trying to get all the photos that we want to get and make sure that everybody's got everything as we're leaving, I don't forget the name. Yeah, so um, shout out to Evan. If that's it, if, if that is the correct name, um, did an amazing job there, proper encouraging people just to take their time, which is what it's all about. Take your time, enjoy the meet. You know, you've queued for it, you've waited for it. If you want to just walk in there and take a quick photo and walk away, go for it. If you want to stand there and have a little bit of a chat or have a couple of photos and a couple of poses, do it. Do it. You've waited for it. You've paid for that with your Disney 
time credit. So uh, do what yeah. makes you happy. Do what makes you happy. Don't worry about other people. The girl in front of us was like, oh, I'll have one more picture and then I'll let these guys go ahead. We were like, no, 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 you take your time. Take you, time. you do what you like, sweetheart. You, uh, oh, don't rush yourself. Don't rush yourself. You crack on. You've paid the money, you've paid the same money just like we have. Don't feel do intimidated no, to just do take it. your time and yeah. because at the end of the day you're here for your magical day just as much as everybody else is. Yeah. Absolutely. So, so you do what you want to do. Don't worry. So yeah, amazing. So we're a little bit late on it as, as per my plan. We're a little bit late on it but we are heading now for dinner and we've decided we're going to head over to Bella Notte because we, well, yeah, we're going to head over to Bella Notte because they have like a Luca decorated section in the restaurant that we want to go and have a look, look at. So we're going to go see if we can get a seat in there and uh, get some pizzas ordered. I'm dying for a beer as well, so I'm hoping to do beer in here. If they don't, I'm going to go, they seek, do. I'm going to go seek one out. So um, yeah, let's head into Bella Notte and we're going to have a look at the Luca. If we can't sit in there, I'll just walk around and film it. Um, but I hope I'd like to be able to sit there. So we're going to have a little look now. I absolutely adore this restaurant. I absolutely love the theming in here. It's so, so cool. Look at all this. It's so Italian looking. Well, Italian looking from a Disney perspective, let's say. But I love that. What? Two pizzas. Oh look, amazing. Oh yeah, here we go. Here we go. So excited for this, cannot wait, I'm so hungry. We missed our dinner time, we should eat around two o'clock really. But um, yeah, we were meeting so many carrots and that today that we've missed our dinner time, so we're proper late on this. What have you got? Same with you guys. How have you? Yeah, yeah pepperoni, pizza, garlic bread, coffee. And beer as well. And all the drinks. Yeah, I've got a beer, a Fanta, and all the water. And thirsty. So when you get a meal at Disneyland Paris, you get your main and a side in most of the quick service restaurants. So we've got obviously the pizza, garlic bread, and you get a drink included in it as well. Um, I paid for the beer separately, so the, the drink included was water. But yeah, it's not too badly priced. It's just 16 euros for, for all of this, um, for the meal. It did used to include a dessert up until November last year, but they, they changed that and took the dessert out and kept the price the same. So um, yeah, that's a shame but I think there's plenty for us to eat here, so we will be fine. Cheers. Cheers to another fantastic Disney trip. So this is the new Luca area here. They've closed it now, unfortunately, so you obviously have to get here a little bit early if you want to eat in here. It is just like a dining room, and it's just decorated for Luca, so you can see there on the wall there is a, a nice mural with Luca on it. And I'm guessing there's more murals on the other walls around the other side. It's a bit of a shame we can't go in there and that they've closed it already, but yeah, I like all the, the stuff up the top there. I've got the deep sea diving helmet and there's some ropes and stuff on there. So yeah, it looks really good in there. So it's almost, so it's almost time for the parade, so we're going to go and try and find a nice little space so we can watch the parade again. Um, what parade is it? Stars on Parade, that's what it is. So yeah, so we're just looking for a nice spot now for Stars on Parade. It is a parade that's been here for quite a while, but I still love it. I love the characters that are in it. I love the floats that are in it. It's just, yeah, it's a great, it's a really, really good parade. When it first started, the first year, I didn't like it. I didn't like the, I didn't like the music or anything. But yeah, it grew on me pretty quickly.
Yes, please, thank you. Thank you. Thank you so much. Champagne. Oh, lovely. Alcohol on Main Street. When Alcohol does that ever happen? Main Street. Never. Never. It never happens. Bubbles, darling. So, we have just got two, three glasses of champagne. Um, for the 30th, they are doing champagne on Main Street. It's 15 euros a glass. You do get, but you get to keep the cup. Um, yeah, so it's 15 euros a glass. And yeah, it's, it's to celebrate the 30th. We think as soon as the 30th's done, it's gonna be gone. It's quite a rare thing. They don't normally allow alcohol down Main Street unless you are in like a table service restaurant. Um, that's not really the only time that you can buy alcohol in the parks. So to actually be able to kind of walk around with these is really nice and it's, it's yeah, it's for the anniversary of the park. Cheers. 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 Uh, Cheers. Am I doing it? Yes. No, okay. Cheers to 30 years of Disneyland Paris. Cheers. Cheers. So, loving the champagne on Main Street. Got about two and a half of these now. Oh, Jamie's here with, with his little. Cheers. Cheers. So, yeah, love it. This is great. This should be adopted everywhere. Although, then it's not a birthday thing and it's not special, is it? But. I love it, I do. No, but I think it's, I think it's quite nice if they had the, the option available like to people for like... Like a celebration. Yeah, like when the firework display yeah. does, like give people the opportunity yeah. to, you know, stand and enjoy the show with, with a glass of champagne. I agree. I agree. I feel like that would be really nice. Getting married, birthday, anniversary, first visit, regular visit, every time we come. <laughs> yeah! Love it. Maybe you can tell that we're British, that we just drink at any occasion. Well... Cheers to that! No, I, uh, <laughs> cheers to being British. Clink. So we spent a little bit of time here in the hub, having our champagne, being all bougie and all that kind of thing, you know. Um, but it's what comes with the gay card that we get. Um, but anyway, the weather appears to have taken a turn for the worse. It's about to start raining. It is so black above the castle. One sec. Oh, there it is. Look how dark that is. That is horrible. So dark. <laughs> but yeah, here we go. It's getting really windy. I didn't sign up for this. And it's about to hammer it down with rain. I can feel it coming now. The trees are going. Just making sure we've got everything. Everyone is scarfing. We've chosen to take this time to go shopping. And I think everyone's gonna do the same thing. Here we go. <laughs> started. Let's, let's see what it looks like. Everyone's running. It's about to absolutely hammer it down. <laughs> It's gone from being such a beautiful day to absolute carnage. Absolute carnage. Oh, years have come up and everything. It's literally going to hammer it any second. Here we go. I'm running. I'm gone. <laughs> yep. I was about to get wet. Here they come. <laughs> we did it. That was about carnage then, wasn't it? It was. It's literally just. You know, like Winnie the Pooh and the Blustery Day. It is isn't like Winnie the Pooh and the Blustery Day. Do you think it's a show? Maybe. <laughs> you know what? Break. When you're in Disney, it snows in the summer and all kinds of yeah. things. <laughs> Why the hell would you even know if it was a show or yeah. not? Okay, so we're now going to do some shopping. So, serious faces, shopping time. Shopping time. 
So earlier today, Jamie bought a fan, and he's had this irritating, annoying, clacky fan all day. I'm a very hot person, so it helps me to cool down. <laughs> Um, yeah, and it broke. So I was going to take it back to the shop. He was, the was clacking it too much and broke it. So I was going to take it back to the shop. And then in the entire tsunami that yeah. happened out there. The new show on Main Street. <laughs> I'm running down Main Street. It comes out of the bag, Matt hears and goes, Jenny is fan. So I turn around. Some guy's running behind me with me fan in his hand. <laughs> <laughs> and I grab it off him like I'm in some sort of relay race and just carry on going and now it's in the bin. We were on our way to take this fan back for a refund yeah. because it broke because Jamie overused it. And now it's um, no it's more. In the bin. <laughs> now it's no more. So trash. <laughs> trash. <laughs> trash. <laughs> Have you got anything that uh, you're looking for today? Uh, you just, I don't know. Okay, well no impulse buying. No oh, just no, just looking at things and getting it for the sake of it. Mm -hmm. Okay. Hello? <laughs> Then you're in the wrong place. This is a shop. Top three? I've got these as well, though, which I don't remember seeing before. Sit down. I'm not a big fan. But... Oh, you're not a big fan? No. Well, why are we bothering then? <laughs> why are we wasting a bunch of time? Oh, there's no on the back, is there? No. Ooh, got some Tower of Terror ones here. Love this. Look at that one. Chippendale as bellboys. I like that. The Keith Paul as well. Yeah, it's quite. Oh, I like that one. I like Mickey as well, look. Is that Minnie? She's got eyelashes. Oh, is it Minnie? I think so. Oh yeah, she's got boots, she's got her heels on. It is Minnie, sorry. Ooh! Oh, that Phantom good. Manor. Yeah. Phantom Manor Goofy. Phantom Manor, Phantom Manor Chippendale. Madame Leota. <laughs> Chippendale doing a reading with Madame Leota. That's good. good. Oh, look at this plush. I've never seen this plush before. Scrooge plush. Ooh, I love that. Yeah. <laughs> Mini plushes. Oh, I love the sor Sorcerer Mickey plush is so nice. The thing is, I can't now start collecting plushes. Mickey plush, I just can't. I can't do it. But it is good. Really good. What's that? Postman. What's he in? Guardians of the Galaxy 3. Have I seen that? No. That's why I don't know who it is. So because of the weather, the shops are absolute chaos. <laughs> so we've had a little look around, one or two bits here and there, but yeah, we've bailed for now on the shop just because it's just too much. So um, yeah, we've uh, jumped into the arcade, heads to the top of the arcade, we're gonna come out of here and we're gonna try and get on Peter Pan. It is thunder and lightning at the moment, but we think the, some of the dark rides, Peter Pan and Snow White, may still be open, so we're gonna go for those. It's not like hammering down the rain anymore, it's not terrible. We will get a little bit wet trying to get there, but we won't, we won't be drowned It's still thunder and lightning though. You said that. I did it. Yeah. Oh, sorry. That's okay. <laughs> so we've arrived at. <laughs> what are you laughing at? You! Yeah, yeah, yeah. The camera is the wrong way around. Oh, sorry. <laughs> I thought you were saying it to Jamie. <laughs> so, so uh, we have made it to Pete's Pan's flight. We got here and it's 10 minutes longer than it said posted. Q rain cam, because it's chucking it down. So we thought we'd get here and the queue will be inside because it'd be short. Because it's a 15 minutes. Yeah, we got here. Everyone's had the same holiday. And we're wrong. Now we're queued outside. In the rain. In the rain. With no rain jackets. So yeah. Loving life. Probably a great time. <laughs> so, uh, oh, we need to move. So, uh, yeah, we are currently queuing at Peter Pan's flight and it is wet. And we have about a 25 minute wait or so. 
Although it's moving quite quick, so. But we are going to be we are going to be soaked. I mean, it could be a good excuse to go and buy a new Spirit jersey when this T-shirt's a bit wet. Yeah, maybe you should go and buy a new Spirit jersey. Yeah. Oh, we're nearly on. How long we waited? Uh, fifteen minutes. Ah, oh, that's good. So it's fifteen minutes. Merci de votre coopération. Ladies and gentlemen, for your comfort and safety, please take off all your bags before boarding. It's a wet one. It is a wet one. It's really wet. Yeah, we're off uh, Peter Pan now. And we're going to head over to the Madhouse Teacups. Yay! So, we're having one of those days. Just in case you wanted to know. Alice's Curious Labyrinth is only on a five minute wait. Yeah, I'll bet it is. I just had a notification. Yeah, I'll bet it is. <laughs> come on, Why come in the they're labyrinth. Like, they're literally like, you can still go in there. Yeah, are you crazy? <laughs> Absolutely not. Soaking wet as it is. All right, let's go. Teacups. 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 Dizzy when you watch this on your telly. <laughs> it's my fault. How do you feel? <laughs> I feel dizzy sat here. Making you feel dizzy for a change. Yeah. pins then because I've been here for the pride weekend I think I'm gonna get this one I'm gonna have to limit myself though to one pin I think can't go spending fortune on them unfortunately 
Scrooge McDuck, we met Scrooge McDuck today. Oh. Do you like that one? Potentially. <laughs> so in the store we've got these prints, which I really like. Um, I originally thought that they were all hand-drawn, and I thought they were mega cheap to say they were hand-drawn, because they're 40 euros each. Um, so they've got like Phantom Man, like they've got the castle. Is this one here of Mickey and Donald? Um, and there's a couple of others as well. They've got like Big Thunder Mountain and the cannon from uh, Space Mountain. The Columbus cannon. Yeah, the Columbus cannon. And they're uh, done by Madame Hubert, so they're an uh, artistic duo. Um, and they hand draw uh, drawings with ink together. And then these prints are made from one of their drawings. Um, but yeah, I thought 40 euros for a print, for a hand drawn print, was cheap. Uh, but that's not what it is, so that's why. But yeah, they're really, really nice and they're exclusive as well. Um, the detail in them is amazing. Et maintenant, Disney Delight. And now, Disney Delight. So that's it then for day three here at Disneyland Paris. It's been a really, really awesome weekend, and a, a, again, a different weekend to what we're normally used to, yeah, or totally what different. we normally do, isn't it? Totally different. Yeah, it's but yeah, it's been incredible spending the weekend with my two favourite people again at a place that I absolutely love um, has been amazing and incredible. So yeah, really, really happy. Um, it's been a bit of a stressful weekend. I'm not going to be. I'm not going to lie. It's had its ups and its downs. It's it has been quite stressful, um, just with how busy the park's been, um, the the temperatures and the weather for this weekend as well. It's difficult when it's really hot and really humid, um, in a country that's not normally used to it. Mm. Um, it. It does take its toll on you a little yeah, bit. Yeah, really it does. It does make you tired. It takes its toll on you a little bit. You get to the point where, like we said, I think we've said throughout the weekend, Disneyland Paris is not set up for that extreme hot. weather yeah. and you know humid humidity. It's just not set up for it. You know, when you, when you're in Florida, you get that humidity, and when it's too much for you, you go into a shop, you go into a restaurant, you go into oh, like right. a building for a show or something like that, and it's full of air conditioning. Yeah, and you can just go in there for a bit, and it kind of relieves that. Mm. 
Um, Disneyland Paris is not set up for this at all. It'd be nice in the in the next in the coming years it, for Disney to come in and put some of the some of this kind of thing you know these things in put the fans in so that when it is hot in the summer that you, that you can cope we have noticed this weekend that there's misters now isn't there mm. there's and I don't, I don't believe that they were there before oh, I've never seen them before no so it looks like they've put they've put misters in for the heat for when it's summer and things like that so that's good that's a step in the right direction but yeah um when I say it's got it's had its ups and downs the humidity and the the weather this weekend does has hit us a yeah. little bit um, um, and then just yeah just how busy the parks have been how busy the pride event that we went to was and how long was, that was yeah how long that was that was a really long day wasn't mm. it and then that's had a knock on effect to today and things like that so yeah it has been challenging this weekend yeah, and in true Rob and Matt style we haven't stopped we've yeah. pushed through <laughs> we've done open till close um, with very little breaks and things like that again yeah. so and I'm, I, you're not going to change us I'm afraid <laughs> it's just the way we do it that's, we do. that's just the way we do it we haven't done many rides this weekend um, no. we've I mean all the rides that are here we've done a million times and we'll do them when we come back next time so we, we've hit up all of our favorites haven't we we have well, that's the beauty of Disney I guess is that you can you can do that. Mm. There's many different ways to do it. Yeah, and, and there's you, no right way. Yeah, the, uh, yeah. There's no right way. The right way is the way you enjoy it. And that's think, the right way to do it. I think one of the best things to do that we always do before we come on a trip is say, "What are your priorities this trip? Yeah. Is there anything that you want to prioritize?" And for us, yeah, this time when we we're on the way here, I was saying, I I thought we should focus on the more seasonal things or yeah. the more. Um, exclusive things for like the pride event and stuff that we were going to yeah because the rides will be here next time we come back yeah but the experience potentially won't be so i in my opinion when we're on way here that was my thoughts it was really nice this weekend to actually get my glass of champagne on main street in the hub in front of the castle which i've been trying to do now for nearly a year as soon as yes. i found out as soon as i found out they were doing it i was like i'm doing that um and i finally got it done this weekend so uh yeah really really impressed and really chuffed with that i'm really that happy really that we, we that we did that because again once the 30th is over i think that experience will be gone that will be gone one that will be so. gone yeah and it also means that i got a nice uh, champagne flute as well with design paris 30th mm. on it and that's a keeper so uh yeah so and that so technically that's a piece of merch there so um yeah really glad that we um that we got those so uh, yeah, happy that we got that experience done. Um, what was your highlight of today? My highlight of today. My highlight of today is probably the meet and greet with Scrooge McDuck. Yeah, that was good, wasn't it? Mm, yeah, really yeah, good. That was really good. How have you found the weekend? Oh, it's been amazing. Again, you know, just the happiest place on earth with two of your best friends, making memories. Singing to Dream and Shine Brighter five times in the hope that you get the full show. Finally, you get it on your last day. To you know, get so many rare characters and, and things like that. It's been it's been absolutely amazing. I've absolutely loved it. What was your highlight of the day? I would probably say the meet with Scrooge, just because he's a rare character. I've never met him. Every time we've been, we've hoped that we were going to get to see him but we just haven't because he hasn't been out. So then to one see him was just amazing, but then to have the whole interaction that we had with him as well was was really good, um, really great character, so. Yeah, so as Jamie just said there as well, it was really, really nice to see Dream and Shine Brighter again. Potentially might be the last time we see it. We'll see how things go. But at the minute, the next time we're going to be back, it's probably going to be Halloween. And if we do come back in October, it will be over. The 30th will be done, which is such a shame. But it's got to come to an end. It's, they've already extended it. They can't extend it anymore. Um, but yeah, so um, if we can get here for the finale, then we might try and do that, but we can't guarantee that we're going to do that. So at the minute, it's going to be Halloween, and at the minute, that was the last time we saw it. So, but yeah, I think out of five times of trying to see it this weekend, we saw it once. But uh, yeah, so if you like this video, then please like and share it with like-minded people. 
to keep up with our dizzy doings and theme park shenanigans, please subscribe to the channel and hit that notification bell while you're there. Thank you so, so much for watching this Disneyland Paris vlog series, if you have got this far. Uh, we've really enjoyed sharing it with you, haven't we? Absolutely, yeah. And we've just loved being back at one of our favourite parks. Yeah. Comment below if you have any plans to visit Disneyland Paris before the end of the 30th anniversary celebrations. And we'll see you in, in the, the next, next one. one. Bye. I've been losing sleep. What to do? Could somebody come into headline and day? But we are one step closer.